Dennis Wrigley Ministries, a better way. Unity, renewal and healing. We live in a sick world. Most people are concerned with health and healing. Whether it is the body, the mind, or the spirit. We live in a diseased world. The interesting thing is that when we look at the Bible, we discover the assertion right at the beginning that all healing comes from God, not man, from God, from the God who created us. And healing is at the very heart of the Christian gospel. The life of Jesus was full of healing. He sent out his followers. They were used as instruments of healing. But the significant thing is that when they were sent out to heal the sick and to cast out demons, the main message was the announcing of the kingdom. Why? Because kingdoms are about authority. Christ had the authority to heal. Christ announced the lordship of God. And so, when God rules, there is no disease. Disease is part and parcel of our fallen world. So therefore, from the very beginning, the early church was about healing. Not just in the Gospels, but in the Acts of the Apostles. Wherever the church went, it took with it a gospel of hope, of salvation and healing. But you know, the Old Testament presented the vision of healing long years before. What was this vision? Very, very simple. Blind people will see. Deaf people will hear. Lame people will walk. The desert will blossom as a rose. The walls which are broken down will be rebuilt. The, the bones on the desert floor will be pieced together and will spring to life. This is healing. The crooked being made straight. The dead being brought to life. So therefore, in every century of the church, every century, uh, we've got records in Christian history of the great uh, men and women who were used by God to heal and to cure. And as we look at the pages of history, we see names springing out of great figures who were used by God to heal. Some of them, in their early days, uh, couldn't accept it or understand it. But there you see the names of Athenaeus, Oregon, Gregory, I've got them here, Edmund of Canterbury, Richard of Chichester, Thomas of Hereford. Going back to Justin Martyr, going back uh, to St. Augustine, going back to St. Francis of Assisi, then more recently to John Wesley, William Carey, on all these pages of history, there is the record of Christ's church being an instrument of healing. It isn't just that Christians built hospitals and orphanages, they did. It isn't just that they cared for the sick, they did. It is that they had a message of the kingdom. And so that message was of hope for the sick, the sad, the brokenhearted. There is no limit to God's love. There's no limit what, to what God can do. And I want to make an assertion now. No prayer is unanswered in my belief. Ah, you may say, what about those who die of cancer or whatever? Well, I've got cancer. But I can tell you, categorically from my own experience, that the real healing is not just the healing of the body, it's the healing of the mind and the heart and the spirit. This is real healing.
You can be healed without being cured. You can be cured without being healed. One thing is absolutely certain. Towering over the wreckage of time is Christ the healer. He has his arms stretched out to gather to himself the brokenhearted and those with broken bodies and broken minds. He is the healer. He is the one who even died for the afflicted. But above all, he has the authority of a king. And I want to finish these few words by saying, to me, the greatest example of Jesus showing authority was riding to town on a donkey, was kneeling and washing the feet of his disciples. This is the servant king before whom we kneel. And we're lost when we see him. We're lost in wonder, love, and praise. Let us explore the healing ministry of Christ. Let us allow ourselves to be used as instruments of healing. Shall we pray? Lord, make even me an instrument of your grace and your healing. Come, Lord, as we see the mystery of human need and bring your light into our darkness. Bring your hope into our hopelessness. Bring your peace into our turmoil. Heal us, Lord and we shall be healed. Amen. Dennis Wrigley Ministries, a better way, unity, renewal, and healing. Thank you for watching.